Hello everyone, welcome. I hope you are all having beautiful days so far. Um, today we are going to be talking about birth charts, the planet Venus, it being in Capricorn, and what that means for all of us, what that means for you, what that means for me, and um, how, you know, for each birth chart, for each birth chart reading, that looks differently for every single client, and the way that, you know, these planets and these energies affect you is going to be so different. So I'm going to try to highlight a little bit of a fun thing that I've been studying and how I'll showcase how it affects me on my chart. And then, you know, we can go through your chart together. If you'd like, you can reach out directly for that service. You can download your free birth chart. There are infinite, you know, places where you can do this and just give a little look, see, and see where this affects you in your life. Um, I'm, looking at it, what did I call it? Venus is giving you a little bit of a love tap. So let's dive in. So the planet Venus, what do we know about Venus? It's the planet of love, the planet of femininity, of yin. It's, you know, where you attract love, not just like how you feel good and how you feel luscious and how you feel that femininity, but where you attract it. It's to me a yin planet, you know, we think of the planet Mars as being, I'm going to be aggressive, I'm going to be assertive, I'm going to state my opinion, it brings a little bit of activity to that, where I like to think of Venus as like, where can I sit back, drink my hot water with lemon and ginger, and just let the planets just draw things to me. So when we think of Venus, it's, this is not, how do I, let me rephrase, these planets and what's happening and your chart is not just about your love relationship and your love partner. Where this transit is happening for me is in a different house. Let me dive back even, or pull back even farther. So Venus has been trucking along pretty much through a sign a month. Um, I believe that's kind of its life cycle. I don't remember how many days it is, um, but that's irrelevant for what's happening right now. Um, but what I found to be curious is that throughout all of these retrogrades, throughout all of the other planetary shifts and fucking things that are going on, Venus has just been like, doo -doo -doo, just, just going along, just going along. But it's going to park it in Capricorn for a minute. It's going to have a little retrograde. It's going to park it like for the first time in like a year or so. So I thought that was A, fascinating, and B, I wanted to see exactly where that fell in my chart because it's gonna give like a little love tap, a little windshield wiper of like, do, 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 do. Nope, clear that up. There, it's like, I wanna give this whoop, a little bit of extra love. So if you'd like to jot these dates down, I wrote down a few dates. Um, so Venus on the 5th of November, Venus is going to enter Capricorn. On the 19th of November, Venus will go retrograde starting at 26 degrees, give or take, of Capricorn. On January 29th, 2022, Venus will go direct at 11 degrees Capricorn. And then on the 6th of March, Venus will enter Aquarius. So from the beginning, from November, December, January, February, March, you have four months of Venus being in Capricorn. So what do we know about Capricorn? That's my moon sign. So we, we wake up thinking like money, paper, get your bag full, date your money, date your pocketbook, get your finances in order. What is your job? You don't have three jobs? What the fuck are you doing? What is your work ethic? but like gentle and loving about it too. But like with very high expectations, we have high expectations for ourselves. We like things a certain way. We like to feel good. We like to feel taken care of. We like safety in a way where like, I'm taking care of myself because I'm a badass bitch. That's pretty Capricorn. And I love that. We're, you know, this is my moon sign again, but like, so not my sun or my rising, but we just like to get shit done. We feel great when like we feel accomplished. Like do whatever you want with your fucking self. Nobody, like we're not here to judge. I mean, internally we'll have our personal judgments because we know that you're just a reflection of us and our own internal work ethic. But so now with that being our lens, we know Capricorn is a lens. I always equate back to glasses. And we know Venus, that yin attractive love place these are the two lenses that we're viewing this energy through. Where now does that fall in your chart? For me, 
this is going to be transiting over my sec the end of my second house and the beginning of my third house and it's going to double back over my natal moon so i'll explain about a little bit so here's a little up close visual of where it's going to be transiting my chart so this is this is me this is me um so these are all the different houses all the planets this is what it looks like when i was born so venus it's going to be down here on the 5th of November, it's going to enter Capricorn right here. Then on the 19th, it's going to go retrograde at 26 degree Capricorn. So this is the second house. This is the third house. So it's going to transit from the second into the third. It's going to transit over my natal moon right here. And then on the so we're going to go retrograde now from the 19th of December. It's going to go back. It's going to go back. It's going to go back. It's going to stop right before my natal Neptune. My natal Neptune is at 7 degrees cap. So it's going to stop at 11 on January 29th. And then it's going to continue along its way. And then on the 6th of March is when it's going to transit over from Capricorn into Aquarius. So um, I will show you on my chart how small of a space it is and then we can really moving forward download your own birth chart looks and see exactly where these spots are for you or please reach out directly and I would be so happy to give you a session and we can go over your birth chart this can be an incorporation that we can chat about because I find it to be so cool because now we have so much time from now until November 5th that we can prepare ourselves for this transit and see where do I want to attract some money, some goodness, some house and home, some safety. So now, in my chart, this is in my second and my third house and over my natal moon. What does that mean for me? My second house is my house of house and home, of pentacles, of money. Um, it was written somewhere, I forget where, where it says, it's not so much the actual house itself, it's like what you put into the boxes that equates to be you. So your possessions and what that means, you know, how do you define yourself? And not that you have to live through your possessions, but what have you actually decided to have represent you as far as, you know, like physical energies that have become manifest in this world? So I look at that. My third house is my house of communication early childhood, early childhood education, the first time I learned how to communicate, um, siblings, and over my natal moon, which is my deepest intuition, my deepest connection to spirit, my deepest understanding, my knowing, and my passions and my drives and all those different things. So did I mention a partner there? Nope. Did I mention a career? Nope. I don't think so. Did I mention, what else do we got? Community, service, sacrifice, long distance travel, death and rebirth and shared possessions. No, because that's not where it falls on my chart. Not to say that somebody won't walk into my life. That's perfectly fine. That's great. But I'm utilizing the energy of Venus and looking at where I can attract things. And that falls in my house of money and pentacles and, you know, some communication and things like that. So where can I attract proper communication going into this season? Where can I really purge out and get rid of things in the back closet and say, you know what? That was an old fear, an old construct that I don't really believe in anymore. I don't identify with that value system. So let me move forward, you know, with earnesty, but with integrity. You know, Capricorns, we're all about integrity. Like a handshake used to mean something. Your word used to mean something. And it does for a lot of people, it does for me. I think, you know, during this Venus transit coming up, I feel like the way that we love and the way that we respect and the way that we want to give and take is going to end up being a little bit more diplomatic and a little bit more like ancient, old school. I want to go back to like, literally, when your handshake meant something, your word meant something. Like, if you honestly, like during this transit, if you look at yourself and you find yourself to be like lying or being dishonest, like why? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. You know, for me, sometimes I can be afraid to express my opinions because they, you know, go against the grain. 
And so like I'd retreat back. I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Why? To be bull just, you know, what are you afraid of? Somebody's not going to like your opinion. Someone's going to disagree with you. They're going to bully you. So what? Who fucking cares? That speaks more to them than it does you. So that's okie dokie. So thank you for joining me. I hope that this was informative. Um, I was really grateful to get some feedback. I'd asked about, you know, some video ideas. So I, this bar charts was, I think the, the top voted one. So I'm going to just put together as much content for actually as many of them as I can, because it was kind of spread across the board. So this is really just one singular component of, you know, the services of birth chart readings that I offer. And so I'd love to really connect. If you're keen for a birth chart reading, please reach out directly. I would absolutely love to offer you a session. I would love to go over which planets that you're most interested in, what energies you want to utilize and work with. You know, I also have a service where we have one full session where we go over your charts and planets, and then we check in each week about what transits are coming up and how you can utilize that energy. They're just short sessions or we can text back and forth. I have some clients that we just have a quick phone call, some that we just have a text email conversation stream, but these are energized to help you. These are tools in your toolbox of life to help you move forward and lead your flock and lead your team and lead your tribe. So thank you for joining me. As always, these videos are donation based. If you have found this content to be informative, if you found validation or connection, please consider donating. I just absolutely appreciate every single one of you. And I just, I love being able to help people help themselves. That is an energy that I just live and breathe. So if that is something that resonates with you and you're able to help yourself to again, offer that back to others, let's keep paying it forward and let's keep exchanging those donations. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you very soon.